Hello and welcome to your practice. This is a beginner's Hatha class of yoga. So we're all going to begin standing. Stand nice and tall, feet hip width apart. Open your chest, roll your shoulders up and back and down. Palms face forward. Now let's just close our eyes and take a few breaths to arrive. Getting out of that sleepiness or the busy day and just arriving all of our focus and energy to this very moment right here, right now. So with your eyes closed, just inhale, breathe in the freshness. And as you exhale, just release those thoughts that are still bubbling in your mind. Inhaling like a white canvas washing over your body. And again, exhale, moving anything that's lingering in you out so we can be ready for practice. One more inhale. Big exhale through the mouth. Ah. Let's do that one more time and really make a noise. Inhale. And sigh it out. Ah. Great. Let's bring our hands together, close our eyes, take a moment to seal your intention, bringing all of our focus and presence to the next 25 minutes of practice. Now by, bow your head in reverence, reverence to the beautiful unknown that we are going to connect with more and more every day to be a supporting, guiding hand in our life. And let's begin, hands to the side. We're gonna start with neck roll. So just taking our neck in big circles. Go as slow or as fast as you need. And if you'd like, you can connect your breath with the movement. Inhaling back and exhaling down. Keep going. Really feeling the stretches on all sides of the neck. And switch directions. Big circles. Two more circles. And then come straight. We're going to do shoulder rolls. Take them forward, front and back. Down, forward, front, back. Big circles. Warming up the joints. Warming up the body. And opposite direction. Back, up, forward, down. Great, shake it out. Now we're gonna bring our arms over our head. Catch either elbow, inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, come down to your left. Open up the chest to the sky and come down to the side. We're feeling a nice side body stretch. Opening the chest, our whole left side body. And come to center and come down the opposite way. Stretching out the side body. Center, opposite direction. Come up and opposite direction. Come up. And let the hands flow down to the side. Good. Shake it out. Now we're going to bend the knees a little bit. We're just going to helicopter our arms. You can bend the knees and then stand up as you come to the sides. Really, this is for the spine to twist out the spine. Twisting. Maybe 
hear some little crackles, it's okay. It's so important to awaken the spine. All the great yogis say, a healthy body, healthy spine. Healthy spine, healthy body. Good, now let's come to center. We're gonna take our hands, interlace them, then we're gonna bring them all the way up and we're gonna take big circles. Big, 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 big circles all the way around, stretching wide in every single direction. When you come up, give yourself a little micro bend in the back and then come to the side. Feel the side body stretch. Big circles. Go as slow as you need. Maybe there's parts of your body that are really, really appreciating the stretch. You can stay there and just marinate in that feeling. Three more rounds this direction. One more. we come to the top we give ourselves a little back bend and then we continue in the opposite direction big circles keep going should even feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs as you're forward folding again as slow as you need The slower, the better. Quality over quantity, dropping into our bodies and really feeling out what's going on, where that stretches. And let's complete one more circle. And coming up and gently relaxing your hands to the side and now we're going to do a practice just for a short moment called shaking and this is so so beneficial don't worry about what anyone thinks because I can't see you and so we're just going to start by shaking our shoulders up and down and then shaking our hands with that now we're going to start to bounce up and down Keeping the shoulders shaking, keeping the hands shaking, just up and down. Knees are bending. Feeling the whole body shake. Now you can close your eyes and just bounce here. This is so good for our bodies. It's like a body life hack. We're waking up all the cells pumping energy into them with our motion. Now start to gently lift the heels off the ground. Shake a little more vigorously. Shake, shake, shake. Now bring your hips into it. Shake your hips back and forth. Shake, shake, shake. And slowly we halt. Just close your eyes and relax your body and feel what's happening. Can you feel the activation? And just feel it. Sit with it. Let's build a relationship with the subtle energies in our body. That's what yoga is all about, connecting with deeper layers of ourselves. Great. Now you're going to be at the front of your mat. I'm on the long side. You're going to be on the short side like this. But for the sake of seeing you, I'm here. Let's take our feet a little bit further than hip width apart. We're going to come down in a squat. Again, if your knees are bad, or not bad, sorry. If your knees are not as flexible, then take it super easy. Um, and we're just going to slowly come down. 
And if you want, you can place your hands behind you. That's a little bit, makes it a little bit gentler. Or if you're really flexible, you can keep your arms inside the legs and just let's stay in the squat. A lot of teachers swear on squatting. <laughs> they say that we can squat 30 minutes a day. We're going to stay forever young. So we can read like this once we get the position. Uh, and then we come slowly sitting onto our seat. Bring the feet back and we're going to come into something called rock pose where we're sitting on our heels. We're going to take the left arm up and then use the right arm and just put pressure on the elbow and stretch out the upper arm. Breathe here. I don't want you to be crunched. Really open your chest. Be big and proud. Stretch that arm. If this is really easy for you, like if this is easy, take your right hand, bring it back behind you and see if you can catch the left hand and interlace the hands behind you. Try it out. You can even use a strap if you have one or a t-shirt and then you're holding on to either side of the shirt. And slowly, we're going to walk our hands higher up that shirt so that eventually our hands meet. Try it out. Breathe here. Opening the chest and stretching the shoulders, stretching the arms. And now in whatever position you're in, we're just going to slowly take a forward fold. Come as far down as you can. And gently come back up. Release the grip. Shake it out and we're gonna do opposite arm. First we'll just begin by supporting the stretch with the left hand, pushing the, the elbow down opening the chest, stretching out the upper arm. Mm, you can close your eyes. And then see if you can take that grip again. Again, use the t-shirt or use the strap or whatever you have. Once we're here, we're going to slowly forward fold, mindfully. And then gently, we're going to come up. And relax. Shake it out. Come to sitting on your seat. We're going to cross one leg over the other so that the knees are stacked. Okay? Just make sure the knees are on top of each other. It's okay if you look like this. It's totally fine. You're still going to get a benefit. So knees are stacked. Hands to the side. Inhale. Open your chest. Exhale. Slowly fold forward and walk your hands forward. This is Beautiful stretch for the glutes. And just take it as far as you can. Maybe you're still upright and you're feeling the stretch. That's perfect. Breathe here. Close your eyes and stretch this out. And slowly walk up. And we're going to switch legs. So now the opposite leg is on the bottom, opposite leg on the top. Again, stack those knees, do your best. Maybe you're already feeling a deep enough stretch here and you stay here. Otherwise, you start to walk your hands forward and let your whole upper body come down. Close your eyes and breathe breath into 
the stretch. So really visualizing as when you inhale, the breath comes into your lungs and then nourishes the stretch in the glutes and the hips. Great, now walk up, release, and let's just shake out those legs. We're gonna come onto our backs, and we're gonna take a position called shoulder stand. I'm gonna show you variations. First variation, palms face down, legs at 90 degrees. This is the first option. The second option is bring your hips off the ground, Place your hands on your lower back and then bring your feet all the way up. This is the shoulder stand, the queen of all poses. Once you're in whatever variation you can take, close your eyes, focus in between your eyebrows, innerly, and then just breathe. If you have the shoulder stand, try and bring your feet over your head into plow pose. Keep supporting your lower back. If you can touch the ground with your toes, place the toes down and you can rest the arms beside of the body and breathe here. If you've taken the first variation of the shoulder stand, just remain there and breathe. Now very slowly, we're going to unroll all the way to a laying down position and just rest for a moment. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Bring your knees into your chest and just roll from side to side, massaging the back. Let's place the feet down close to the seat, palms face down so that they're tickling, the fingers are tickling the heel, feet are hip-width apart, knees are hip-width apart. Inhale, pick up the hips into bridge pose and bring it down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale, and we're going to stay up. Stay here for a few breaths, and we have the option to roll our shoulders under the body and grasp our hands together and push the hips up. Breathe, two more breaths. With every inhale, we come higher. Exhale, we sustain. Inhale, higher. Exhale, sustain and then slowly lower down. Again, bring the knees into the chest, squeeze them in and just rock from side to side. Good. Take a hold under your knees, rock back and forth now on your spine. You and then eventually we're gonna come up to seated Good. We're just going to stick our feet out in front of us. I'm just going to face you all. We're going to inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. If you can touch the toes, perfect. If not, shins. Try and keep the knees straight. And forward fold. Breathe here. Let your whole upper body be heavy. Close your eyes. Let your head be relaxed. And just breathe into the stretch in the back of the legs.
Great. Take a couple more breaths here. And slowly come all the way up. We're gonna bring one foot in, sit up nice and tall, and come forward. Breathing, stretching out the back of the leg. Close your eyes, let your head be relaxed. Slowly come up, switch legs, sit tall first and then come down. Try and keep the knees straight, really benefiting from the stretch in the back of the leg. And slowly come up. Great. Now we're going to come lying on our back. Good. And we're going to bend one leg, rest the ankle on the top of the opposite leg, right underneath the knee. And we're going to take our hands, grab under the thigh, and pull the leg in towards the body. Breathe here. We're giving our hip and outer, outer glutes a really nice stretch. So we're making the number four with one of our legs, and then the opposite leg is at a 90 degree angle. Close your eyes, pull the knee in. and slowly switch. Breathe here. Close your eyes, focus in between your eyebrows. And in that space, visualize a brilliant gold light. And release. Keep both your legs at 90 degrees. Take your hands out like a cactus. Slowly drop your knees to one side as you look over the opposite shoulder. Now relax your whole body here. Feel this nice twist in your spine. Let everything in your body get soft. And slowly bring the knees up. Come back to center with your head. Drop the knees to the opposite side. Your gaze is over the opposite shoulder. Close your eyes. Focus in between your eyebrows. Again, visualizing that brilliant golden light glistening and glimmering bright in between your eyebrows. This is the space of the third eye. Enough attention and focus here. We develop our psychic abilities. And slowly back to center. And then grab your knees, bring your forehead all the way up. Squeeze your body. Squeeze your body as tight as you can. 
Squeeze your face, squeeze your feet, squeeze your fingers, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze everything. The more you squeeze now, the better. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Come into the final resting pose, Shavasana. Let your shoulders be relaxed, palm face up, your feet, toes are dropping to the outside, feet are about mat width apart, and just rest here, close your eyes. Allow yourself to deeply, deeply surrender. Just release any extra tension that's in your body. Get soft into the mat. If you have a blanket and need to cover up to feel that extra comfortable sensation, please do so. And I invite you to stay in this pose for a minimum of five minutes. Enjoy. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste.